Anne Lacaton nació en 1955 en Francia y Philippe Bassal en 1954 en Marruecos. Se conocieron a finales de la década de 1970 durante su formación en arquitectura en la Escuela de Arquitectura de Burdeos. Lacaton pasó a realizar una maestría en planificación urbana en la misma universidad, mientras que Basal se trasladó a Níger, África Occidental, para practicar sobre la planificación urbana. Lacaton visitaba a menudo a Basal y fue allí donde comenzó la génesis de su doctrina arquitectónica, ya que fueron profundamente influenciados por la belleza y la humildad de ahorrar recursos entre los paisajes desérticos del país. Níger es uno de los países más pobres del mundo y la gente es tan increíble, tan generosa, haciendo casi todo sin nada, encontrando recursos todo el tiempo, pero con optimismo, lleno de poesía e inventiva. Realmente fue una segunda escuela de arquitectura, recuerda Basal. Viviendo en zonas desérticas, se habían inspirado por estructuras no tan complejas, pero en ellas predominaba la belleza. Debido a esto, ambos arquitectos decidieron implementar lo que observaron allí y trasladarlo a su estudio y utilizar lo que está al alcance y mantenerlo sencillo. En Níger, Lacatón y Basal construyeron su primer proyecto en conjunto, una choza de paja construida con ramas de arbustos de origen local que produjo una impermanencia sorprendente, cediendo al viento dos años después de su finalización. Se comprometieron a no demoler nunca lo que podría ser redimido y en cambio hacer sustentable lo que ya existe, extendiendo así a través de la adición, respetando el lujo y la simplicidad y proponiendo nuevas posibilidades. Establecieron la Catón y Basal en París en 1987 y desde entonces han demostrado audacia a través del diseño de nuevos edificios y proyectos transformadores. Durante más de tres décadas han diseñado vivienda social y privada, instituciones culturales y académicas, espacio público y estrategias urbanas. La arquitectura del dúo refleja su defensa de la justicia social y la sostenibilidad, al priorizar la generosidad del espacio y la libertad de uso a través de materiales económicos y ecológicos. Um, we, 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 we got very early the, the idea that, uh, um, Doing architecture was uh, um, um, a way of uh, providing space for uses. So it means that uh, the uses is uh, everything, everywhere. It can be small, it can be a little thing. And um, we, we got an interesting experience after the School of Architecture in, um, in uh, Africa. Um, where at uh, the beginning we didn't have the, the, the feeling that uh, We were in presence of uh, architecture just after making the school, but uh, every day it was uh, interesting to see that uh, people themselves was doing architecture because they were creating space uh, with uh, sometimes nothing, not, no materials. And that was uh, very interesting for us to learn from this. Um, it was something uh, intuitive, it was, but we learned a lot from this uh, And this became some principles afterwards in our, in our practice that um, um, I can summarize in a few words like uh, generosity of uh, space, uh, care to the uses, uh, care to the climate and how we can use all the resources. Um, the economy, because economy is uh, extremely important uh, nowadays to make this architecture affordable in any case. So this, all these uh, principles are, are with us since many, many years. And uh, of course, we every year, every project allows to improve it. Proporcionar bienestar físico y emocional también ha sido intencional en su trabajo. Su aplicación de tecnologías de invernadero para crear condiciones bioclimáticas comenzó con la Tapie House, en Floirac, Francia, en el 1993. Usando el sol en armonía con la ventilación natural, la protección solar y el aislamiento, crearon microclimas ajustables y deseables. Este hogar tenía como objetivo ser económico, ya que era para la familia de Anne, que contaba con pocos recursos. Esta vivienda contaba con un invernadero ubicado en la cara este del mismo. 
means that the uh, view is uh, important, the light is important, to get sun is important, and, and space, because it comes from the observation that most of the time uh, the housing is, uh, is very small, very constraining for the family life. So um, making this, this transformation, instead of restructuring everything inside, we find better to, to keep as it is, but to make an addition of space. And the, the both the existing, which is the constraints of the walls of everything, and this open space in front creates a new space which has more qualities. And uh, at the same time, we also uh, bring solutions to uh, thermal uh, uh, improvement, uh, to energy saving, uh, but it's, uh, it's done not only with materials and technology, it's done with, uh, with space. Never withdraw, always add. En esta oportunidad debían construir una vivienda en un entorno no urbanizado, lo cual implicaba que ellos respeten el lugar como estaba y optimicen los recursos disponibles a su alrededor, respetando la naturaleza. Por tal motivo, analizaron la zona y en lugar de talar más de 30 árboles, decidieron elevar la construcción y activar la vegetación presente. But not all new architecture is good architecture, but sometimes not all old architecture is good architecture. It's bad. Nearly never. Nearly never. Because uh, we, uh, we always start to look at things positively. We always start looking for the good. Uh, and of course we check also, we inventory what is um, bad. But we cannot say that this is bad, this is good. Uh, we, we take it always as uh, uh, something existing. For example, if we, if we work in a forest of a very nice landscape, uh, we take it as it is. We have never the, in, no one will have the intention to cut trees or to, someone may have, but normally we don't have. And, and we can consider that uh, buildings, floors, uh, can be also this, uh, have this interest. So the, the thing is, uh, is to start in looking for what is positive and uh, make it as a whole and say, okay, we have all this positive and now we check what is, uh, uh, negative, what is not working, and we change it, and then we can transform, and we can make additions, and we can make something new, we can extend. El FRAC alberga colecciones públicas de arte contemporáneo reunidas regionalmente. El FRAC de la región norte se encuentra en el sitio del puerto de Dunkerque, en un antiguo almacén de barcos llamado Hale AP2. El Hale es un objeto singular y simbólico. Su volumen interno es inmenso. Implantar el frac como catalizador de la nueva zona y también mantener el hail en su totalidad se convierte en la idea básica de este proyecto. Para lograr este concepto, el proyecto crea un doble del hail de la misma dimensión adosado al edificio existente en el lado que mira hacia el mar y que contiene el programa del frac. El nuevo edificio se juxtapone delicadamente sin competir ni desvanecerse. For us it's very important to, to, uh, to, to keep with ourselves, to keep in the project everything existing. And we consider that it's a, a resource, an opportunity that makes uh, more interesting uh, the project. Um, nowadays uh, we never work on uh, empty space and uh, in fact it's not very interesting to work on empty space and it's um, we work in the established city we work in landscapes which which are most of the time uh, the result of uh, changes of uh, um, different periods of, uh, of, uh, of time and it's for us very interesting to take in account all these elements as part of the situation, which is more interesting than starting from nothing. So it's why we take care so much to the existing, not, not in, the, in, the, in the way of uh, protection or big respect or too much respect, but uh, as a resource. As, and of course we, take, we try to take the maximum benefit 
of uh, this resource in uh, reusing, in uh, transforming. Uh, sometimes if, uh, and it's, it's, it's um, starting from a great observation and inventory of what we have. It means that uh, <coughs> something needs to be transformed, something needs to, need to stay as they are, and this is all this combination uh, which makes the project so interesting. To, to work what is uh, the most interesting, but most of the case we can take a lot of advantage of the existing and it makes a great uh, richness and um, starting from this richness is always giving a more interesting project. So for us it's more, um, we don't see it as a constraint, we see it as a chance. Building is uh, in the middle of nowhere, uh, you are always uh, neighbors, the landscape, uh, city, uh, city landscape and everything around. It's, it's extremely important. But um, to our opinion, um, this public space um, should s always start from the interior of uh, the living space. Uh, because uh, the public space must be understood as a place of connections. And um, it's important for us, at the, uh, finally, at the opposite of uh, the principle of uh, starting by a master plan, for us it's important to start from the, the opposite way. It means starting from the living space, living for yourself, living for, uh, for a community, living uh, as a public uh, use, uh, but uh, to start from uh, this uh, space which is used uh, at the scale of the people, and, and then to understand uh, which is the next space, which is the next. And then to create a kind of agglomeration of space where uh, it's, uh, the question of relations is extremely important. And the public space is part of this system. Transformación de 530 viviendas, edificios GHI. Los protagonistas de estos proyectos eran tres edificios construidos a comienzo de los años 60. Estos edificios brindaban 530 viviendas sociales. Las transformaciones tenían como objetivo brindar más comodidad, espacio y cualidades de vida. Se incorporaron jardines de invierno y balcones para optimizar y aprovechar la luz natural. Las ventanas pasaron a ser las puertas de entrada al jardín de invierno. Otra de las mejoras se relacionaba con las instalaciones eléctricas, las cuales fueron reemplazadas por otras más amplias. Asimismo, se realizó una mejora en la sala de acceso y el jardín del frente del edificio también fue rediseñado. El haber implementado los jardines de invierno permitió que actuaran como colectores solares pasivos. Un punto importante en este proyecto es que tales transformaciones no deben afectar a nada en el costo de la renta. También se tenían que reducir los tiempos de obra. Esto se debe a que los inquilinos debían regresar cuanto antes a sus viviendas. Por tal motivo, se utilizaron módulos, losas, columnas y perfil. I think it's a, it's a very difficult to advise because uh, ourselves we are not always uh, sure about uh, we have still a lot of doubts uh, and it's good to have doubts and to ask uh, always questions but um, probably we could recommend that they, they really uh, First, that they feel well with what they are doing, that they feel in line with what, uh, as, uh, how as person, as citizen, as architects, how, they can, how we can mix all this uh, in, in the same uh, attitude. That's very important to, for us to be, to be in line on uh, all these uh, parts of our personality. Uh, and also that uh, they, it's important to uh, to be also in line with um, our uh, contemporary society, to, uh, to try to understand what is uh, expected from uh, the architects. In, 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 in short, we, don't, we recommend that uh, they should uh, think architecture not as a representation, but much more as really spaces uh, for the life, uh, any life, any use, uh, with the um, possibility of uh, freedom, freedom of use for everyone, so it's, we could, we could uh, encourage them to, uh, to think architecture in this way and, and not as a kind of product or 
uh, even if at the end we all, of course we produce architecture, we produce